Yo, what's going on guys? I know, this may be surprising to you. I'm using my face cam for this video. Uh, today I'll be looking at the newest feature in the latest update of Grand Blue Fantasy, which is uh, 12-3-2019. We've just gotten access to the GBF handbook and this handbook gives us a new equipment templates where we can look at, I guess, recommended pools by Grand Blue Fantasy themselves. These pools can be very questionable, some of them. I've looked at a couple of them. Actually, it's my fourth time recording this video for the fire element. Yes, I'll be going through each element, not in one video though, because that'll take me quite a while. What I plan on doing is going through each LE individually in a video. Today with this video, we'll be looking at fire. Um, It's gonna be a, a really hard time because a lot of these pools, honestly, I don't have much experience with, right? In 2019, mainly the magnet pools. I feel like my experience that I had from the last couple of years They've kind of went away in 2019 as I happened to go the more whale pools. So it, I'm not like the best person when it comes to magna pools in 2019. Cause honestly, I haven't ran them outside of wind. I've ran wind magna and light magna, but outside of that, I have not been running magna much. So I don't know optimal, the best situation and best everything. I'm sorry, but it's reality. Anyways, Let's take a look at the first build being the Colossus build, a fire element setup centered around SR weapons. Use this as a jumping point. Yeah, cause you're jumping off the bridge if you're building this. Honestly, don't even look at this grid. It's not worth it. Everything should be zero, technically. It shouldn't even be two. I don't see a point of that. Um, The reason about these grids is that while they used to be good grids in 2016, um, this is actually what I built three years ago when I first started playing this game, what people told me to do was SR weapons, you should skill level them all to skill level three as a base base grid in 2019. Oh, 2016, sorry. So that was three years ago. Now I feel like the game has changed so much from side stories and just giveaways and events that they give out a lot of stuff We are like, you don't really need to build these SR pools anymore like you had to three years ago. Another thing I would notice is that this Primark, my seraphic weapon, is SSR. I'm guessing because the account is like, well, I'm guessing because on this account there is a SSR Primark, they just took it from the account and that's why it's SSR here. This is what I believe. I don't know though, personally, but what I would to assume, what I, what I am to assume is that it's like that. I really jumbled my words right there. Do forgive me. But here you can see they're running six Magna weapons, two EX and one normal mod weapon. Uh, this is okay. I don't see much problem with it. It's just that I don't find much value in building a grid like this in 2019. The next grid we'll go to is the Colossus Omega build. This is more of a build that we can start talking about and actually can use. Offense is two, more like one. Defense is two, more like one. Effort is two, more like one. Works best with multiple Colossus Kane Omegas. Get them from Colossus Omega raids. Let's click on that. So here we have the Colossus Omega build. Notice that each main hand are farmable weapons from either side stories or special quests being like Ifrit. So let's take a quick note and the Colossus weapons themselves. Now this grid is a grid I actually ran before as well. This grid was my grid in middle of 2016 when I first started doing Colossus with my water team. Uh, this is actually pretty sim similar to what I've ran. So I think it's perfectly fine. Five canes. Back then it was six canes. We didn't have a uh, prime, not Primark, a uh, Seraphic weapon. These weapons were not in the game until 2017 of March. So what we used to run was six Colossus canes and two EX, a Bahamut weapon and a main hand. 
other than that, I think this is perfectly fine. I think this is okay grid. 2019 is a good started grid for your first LE, so I don't see much problem here, personally. Now, maybe some people may complain about a couple things, but I'm not gonna be the one to nitpick really hard about that because it's still an entry level grid. So it's not like you invested too much into it. Now we're getting over to the high level grids. You're probably wondering why I call this a high level grid. If you notice here, the summons change. So we start with the SR Colossus, then we go to the SSR. This drops from the regular Colossus high level, not Col Colossus Omega. And then we go into the full limit break Colossus Omega. And you can only get this from clearing Shiva high level. Therefore, you must be a high level player to obtain this grid. I mentioned this because being high level gives you more access to different weapons like Dark Opus, Hollow Sky, and the um, high level Bahamut weapon. Now, this grid is one of the grids I had a couple of questions about. I've noticed that this grid is running four twigs. How do people feel about that in 2019? Are people running four twigs now? Back when I used to run this grid, uh, this is the grid I ran. If you can go back to my older videos, I think I ran this for a Freyer GW in 2018, around November, October-ish. And when I ran this grid, it was okay. Um, it was five twigs. Back then, there was no Summer Mirage and there was no Dark Opus. So what people ran with the regular five twig grid. Um, I'm not too sure about what people are running in 2019. I noticed in this grid, there's no dark opus. Um, you do have access to dark opus at this point in the game if you're building this. So I don't understand why they didn't put the dark opus in here. Um, as for main hands, they do give you quite a variety of main hands. You got the GW dagger here, the Athena spear. I don't recommend running this. If you need a spear main hand for like, if you're running Spartan, run the Athena sword. And if you're running um, Sage, run a Colossus King. Then you have the Zeno Axe, I think that's fine. The Staff, I think that's fine. And the Katana. One thing I will mention here is that when you run the Zeno as a main hand, I think you do have options to run a fifth twig and replace this Zeno here, or you could put the Dark Opus weapon. But yeah, I, I find this grid to be very weird when it comes to this particular build, because I don't know, not, well, not this one, but maybe this one. I don't know, are people running four twigs now at the base? I, I'm really confused. So I don't know what people are doing. If you are a Colossus main who is professional, I guess, and have a ton of experience, and you're up to date with your Colossus build, Tell me, what are, you, what are people running? Because I'm really sh unsure about this build. Because I don't know exactly what people are running now. So I, I just want to keep up. So are people running four now? Are they still running five? I Tell me in the comments. Next, we go on to Colossus build three. Offense four, that's a lie. Defense three. That's okay. Effort four, like that's kind of high. This is the Shiva grid build. Um, this one is one of the most questionable grids here. Uh, my biggest point is that if you were to remove this Colossus cane here and put in the Opus and put in the Anubis scale here, you have a high lender grid. This is something I would like to mention. Another thing is that with this grid, you only have access to the dagger main hand. I don't know why. I actually hate the dagger, the GW dagger, because it's such a big loss in overall damage that I don't think it's worth even running as a main hand. So I'm, I'm a little confused as to why they went this way with this grid. This grid, uh, I've seen people run it before, but it's very, very reliant on Anilla. So, I mean, you run the Shiva grid without Anilla, you lose quite a quite a bit of damage so I, I don't know uh one thing i will also mention is that they're running only two shiva swords and they are not running any of the spears back when this grid i well back when i first learned about this grid in 2018 people were running i believe three swords and two spears 
So I don't know what people are doing now, how the summer mirage factor in into the grid. Uh, Dark Opus is still not here. So I don't know. I don't know what people are doing. So tell me more about this grid and how you guys feel about it. Cause to me, I find it very weird and I'm just not up to date with the, uh, the Shiva build and what are people running? I, I like to know more about optimal running rather than, you know, improvised. I think I want to know more about, more about the end game grid. Cause this one, it's definitely not end game to me. Uh, and this is the final Colossus build. Which I feel like because it was the final Colossus build, they should have at least added the the Opus, right? They should have added the Opus, and they just didn't. So, just tell me how you guys feel about it, and what do you think is the optimal build for the Shiva grid? Next, we're talking about the Agni build, which is offense four, more like three. Defense should be three. Effort should be three. This is the uh, Twig build, so. They are running the Ultima as main hand here. One thing I'll notice is that they run Ultima for each weapon. I feel that's kind of questionable. I don't see a point of that, but I, I guess, right? I guess. I'm not going to, to nitpick that hard with the main hand because the main hands are plentiful. I'm more gonna look at the base nine weapon grid and go from there. And what I see here is another four twig grid. Uh, one thing I will mention is that the Agni does have a higher percent base compared to uh, magna so you do have 140 opposed to the 120 of a magna so i don't know that four twigs make up for that I, I honestly don't know i've never seen anybody run this specific grid especially when you have another variant that i'll talk about after i'm done with this but i really don't know about the four twigs i find that to be very peculiar um athena spear is okay personally i like i'd rather run two prometheus staffs because this grid has quite a bit of health. And if you really want to maximize your damage, it's better to just try to dip as low as possible, quickly as possible. So you can really start putting out some decent damage. Multi-attack is cool and all, but a lot of fire units do come with decent multi-attack now. So I don't feel it'd be that important, especially if you're running the ultimate as a main hand. So it, it, I don't find this to be that big of a deal. You can also run the Zeno as a main hand for Berserker, the Zeno Axe, to get multi-attack. So the Athena Spear itself, it depends on the comp, I think, if you really want to slot this weapon in. Um, the Zeno weapon is okay. Pr uh, primal Opus, so they are putting in Opus for the mag the Primal Pools. Um, I think that's fine. I don't know if the Magna Opus would do better here. One thing I noticed is that there's no Magna weapon in this pool. So that's quite a bit of damage lost there because they did exclude a Magna weapon. So I, I find this grid to be kind of weird in that situation. And the Seraphic weapon is fine. So I don't know, would you want to run a Magna Opus? I feel like you should still run a Magna mod because this is not double Agni. I don't believe it's double Agni. Maybe it is, but um, I think this is just standard Agni Shiva. So you are losing a quite a bit by not running a Magna mod. And if you are to run a Magna mod, um, if you aren't gonna run a Magna mod, you should at least run double Prometheus staffs so you can at least drop health and rely on a MIDI as fast as possible. Um, I, I still find it to be kind of weird though overall, but that's just how I look at it. And then we have Agni stamina build. Now, as I mentioned, I was going to complain about them omitting a build. If you notice here, there is no Prometheus build here. Um, I find it to be a problem. It's a very viable standard to Agni builds now, free to play. Well, not free to play, but close to free to play, right? You still want to put a grand weapon in there. So I, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like they should add that grid in. Luckily, this is something that can be updated, so I wouldn't be too angry like over this not being there, but I feel like it's something that they should take note of and the community should tell them to add it so that they can update it. Another thing is that they can take grids from top players who do well in GW with these builds. 
Like, a lot of these grids here, they could be taken from DW. Like, I don't know where they get these builds from, but I feel like the best standard would be at a top ranker for DW. That's how I think about it and um, how I feel about it. Anyways, we are on to the money build. So get your dollar bills and, and start flying them in the air. Get your wallet, get all of that. Because we're now at, yes, I have a PlayStation wallet. The PlayStation is cool. Um, now we are on to the money build. Offense max. This is the most damaging build for fire right now. Defense three, because it's not probably having a lot of HP. There's no garrison, unfortunately. And effort max. There's no point of that. This would be a dollar sign. So have like a dollar sign with money or yen because what you're really pulling out is your wallet to obtain this expensive grid. And by expensive, I mean four katanas. And that's quite a bit of katanas, right? Not many people have four katanas without heavy investment to an LE or completely ignoring all their other LEs, final, internal, looking at you, bro. Um, some things like this does require heavy investment or neglecting other LEs. What we're looking at here is four Katanas, two Zenos, a uh, uncapped Katana, the Magna Opus, notice that it's Magna, not Primal, and the Primarch Seraphic Weapon, sorry. I keep calling this a Primarch when I shouldn't, but it's a Seraphic Weapon. I'm not gonna look at the main hand too much. I think the main hand is whatever, but the base grid is pretty much optimal. In most scenarios, this is what I ran myself for GW and other content. So I think this is pretty great. Actually one of the optimal builds, it's not the most optimal build, obviously. Um, it's only four katanas. There's no Colossus weapons here. No, this, like that type of stuff though, is like truly min maxing though. So I wouldn't really tell, I wouldn't tell people to go for it because you kind of swamp out weapons depending on the base defense of the boss and what boss you're fighting. Sometimes you, you still even run five katanas, even though it's not too often. So, I mean, you may have to run five for, let's say Nightmare 150, my, yeah, Nightmare 150, is it 150? Yeah, 150. So we'll see what's going, what goes on in the future. But I think as a base grid for four katanas, this is pretty good, pretty decent. I won't really complain about it too much. The main hands are decent. Colossus King is the main hand actually pretty good because what people run a Warlock, attack, uh, assault time. So that's really nice. The melee, got the regular fist used for Yubaha high level. Um, not Yubaha high level, Yubaha. I don't know if it's still used. I don't see it nearly as much. I think most players have now swamped back to Warlock, but it used sometimes. It really depends on the player though. But I think overall, this grid is okay. I wouldn't complain about it too much. I won't nitpick it. I'm not gonna be the guy who nitpicks. Like, oh, it's not this, it's not this, not that. I mean, generally, it's okay as a grid. So, good enough for me. Things that could change here, though, is maybe an Ultima. Um, depends. Ult the problem with Ultimas is that, you know, those are really team, team uh, oriented. So if your team doesn't really support the Ultima, it can be a problem, right? So. Like, for example, like, personally, I like running the Ultima with a Spear team when I run this pool. Actually, I'll show you, because I have to have a grid uh, similar to it. So we go here. So because I end up soloing um, Team Mount Malice quite a bit, I actually run a, where is it? Here, I run the Spear team with Alan and Macro, because I end up soloing it most of the time. I can't really rely on Escher for soloing. Um, but yeah, I run a grid pretty similar to it, you know, four katanas, Zeno, Akasha, Magna Opus, Uncap, Seraphic, but instead of running double Zeno, I run Ultima, just to give a little bit more TA. Um, you can run the Athena Spear, but the Athena Spear lowers your health, and this grid already has kind of mediocre health, so that's why I run the Ultima, and I like the, the cap up on Athena. And it helps for Shiva too, kind of, but mainly for Athena. But that's just an example of a situation where that I like it's kind of similar to what I run, so it's not too bad. Do know that this account does have access to more katanas. 
I just like to run four. I think that's fine for Team Up Malice. I feel like you don't need more than four. But other than that, that's about it for Fire. Uh, tell me how you guys feel about it. Um, do you like the face cam? Do you not want face cam? I'm, I'm not used to face camming, so. I might make some weird faces too, who knows. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.